I know a lot of you are wondering what's going on in all these different specific areas. So just give me a second and I'm going to cover them going by spot to spot. So for those of you north of the lake, I want to point out the purple is kind of where we are expecting ice. The pink is where there could be patches of ice, especially on bridges and overpasses, but it may not be quite as widespread. We'll have to see. And anything in light pink, by the way, just a heads up would be kind of just where we need to watch it. It doesn't look as bad, but something we'll need to watch. So North Shore, all of our parishes here, we're talking about really after midnight on um, Monday to 6 p.m. Monday. Freezing rain and sleet, we are expecting that. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s all day and then in the teens on Monday night. So this is a spot where I would say if you can, you know, you may want to make plans maybe to not travel tomorrow because when you have ice on roads, it can be very, of course, difficult to travel and very dangerous, especially here where we're not used to it. There could also potentially be a few power outages. And as you may know, that happens when ice accumulates on the power lines or on um, trees. And sometimes you get down trees and down power lines with ice storms like this. So we'll have to see how severe it is, but that will be possible for tomorrow. South of the lake, Metro New Orleans, this is what we're looking at. Most of our area is kind of in the need to watch. We'll have to see how it shapes up tomorrow. There could be patches of ice, but really uh, south of the lake, we're expecting mostly a cold rain from about 6, 7 a.m. Um, really, the rain will be finishing by afternoon, but this is kind of the, just the general outline for these um, effects. Ice might be possible. We'll have to see um, if you can wake up in the morning and kind of check out the situation. 30s during the day is what we're expecting. Then 20s Monday night, we could have wet roads and again, patches of ice, especially perhaps bridges and overpasses. Although the higher chance for that really would be north of the lake. River parishes, those of you around uh, Boutique and Destrehan and over toward Lutcher and really closer to Plaquemine and Baton Rouge is where the more significant effects are. But those of you around Laplace and so forth, we're expecting the freezing rain, sleet, and probably a cold rain here, mixing with a couple of those frozen elements perhaps temperatures during the day in the 30s and then probably teens to about 20 Monday night. Slick roads, power outages will be possible. If you're joining us from Thibodeau and Homa, uh, Galliano and other spots south of the city, for example, Jean Lafitte and Lafitte, this is more, as we've said, the need to watch area. This area, Thibodeau and Homa, as I showed you, our models were showing about a tenth of an inch of ice accumulation there. So that would make it hard to drive. Temperatures during the day, 30s, tens and well, teens for Monday night. And this could be another spot where we're getting cold rain, maybe eventually changing over to some freezing rain and sleet. So again, slick roads, power outages possible. We'll go over towards some of our uh, lesser impact areas. Uh, most of Plaquemines Parish and over towards St. Bernard, you're expecting mostly a cold rain. So we'll just kind of watch the situation around Chalmette and Belchase, but we're expecting more so um, the ice really farther to the northwest of this zone. So for those of you joining us from there, uh, we'll say 7 a.m. to roughly the afternoon or evening for the rain, cold rain, 30s during the day, 20s for the night. There could be wet roads and actually even where we're seeing the cold rain potential, we're talking about a pretty decent dose of rain. We're talking about a half inch to an inch of rain, um, which this time of year is a pretty you know, significant dose. And then over toward the Mississippi coast, really farther to the north, not right along the coast, but farther to the north is where you could have the cold rain, maybe freezing to ice, temperatures during the day in the 30s, 20s for Monday night. So wet roads and some ice will be possible there too.